Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with my furry treasures. Okay, I have got a huge 75% off Hobby Lobby clearance. It's been what I've been waiting for all, the whole, this whole sale. I've been waiting for the fine art section to go on sale. So everything's got on sale now for me that I want except for the paper. And I'm going to go crazy on the paper because of my jelly printing. And for any art I want to do also. So, but in the fine art section, hopefully I don't need my glasses. Why don't I have a pair of readers? You guys, I'm going to pause you and then put a pair of readers on. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Sorry about that. I always have a pair of readers here in my, in my studio and I just didn't have any. Anyway, <clears throat> I picked up, I got, I got a hold of, they must have just clearanced them late Saturday because I went Saturday morning and they hadn't clearanced the, these, these, um, the mediums. So these are Liquitex, Liquitex mediums. Let me just bring this down a little bit. Uh, Liquitex mediums. And this is the super heavy gesso. And I got... How many of the super heavy gesso did I get? And I love the super heavy gesso because if I want to gesso um, any of my mixed media, anything for mixed media, I can use this. But also the super heavy gesso is great for um, when I do my Fenibear art um, and I need to put a nice coat of gesso. The thick is really good when you're putting it on like um, Fenibear type of art. So um, I needed this. So I'm glad I got this because I had some actually by Fenibear. But um, I was running low. So, and it was regularly $10.99. I picked it up for $2.74. This is what it looks like. So if you're looking for it. And this is the 8 ounce. So from $10.99 to $2.74, you guys, that's ridiculous. Now it says a super heavy gesso. I love it for that. But you can also use this, you guys, if you just are working in your um, art journal or um, anything like that. You can still just use this like you use the regular gesso. So, I think I got three of those. Did I get three? Yeah, I got three. So, and what's funny is last year, I don't think Liquitex was the one that was on clearance last year, or was it? No, it was Liquitex last year. Okay, so I got three of those. So, I'm so excited. Those will be well used. Because like I said, I was almost out. I got a great deal last year on Heavy Gesso uh, by Finnebear. But I'm almost out of those, so I'm so glad I got that. Okay, these are all matte medium. Okay, they don't seem like it, but they are. Let me just tell you. Just a second, I'm just looking at what that is. Okay, last year I was able to get, this is the one that I got last year. This is last year when I got the clearance. Um, damn, this is a better deal. I got last year the matte super heavy gel. So that is a matte medium, okay? Uh, matte super heavy gel. That's like a matte medium. Okay, so I got that last year. I'm on my last one of those from last year. So I'm glad that I, I got these. Now, the only thing I don't like about these, the, they're all the same. I got one, two, three, four. They're not matte. They're gloss. But again, it's the same stuff as that. Um, it's a gloss, gloss heavy gel. The other one was a heavy gel and it was matte. So, but it'll still act, I already read, read it, it'll still act like a glue, like a matte medium. So it act, it's just like the other one, like this one I got from last year, except it leaves a gloss. So if you need to go on top when you're collaging, you need to go on top of it, go ahead. But you can use a thing called, um, just get a matte clear spray paint from um, like Walmart and just spray your project with a clear matte spray paint. And then that'll allow you to be able to paint on top of that, draw on top of that, whatever you want to do. And it'll be like a matte medium. So, um, but I got a better deal on these. Uh, these were $11.99. I got it for $2.99. So that is really good deal. And right now with my collaging, I'm usually just putting it on the, um, on the opposite side and then gluing it down. I'm not putting matte medium on top. So I'm not having to spray it. But if I do do it like that and I have to and I and I need it matte on top, I'll use the clear matte spray paint. And you get that from wherever. Home Depot, Walmart, whatever. And it's a cheap. If you buy it at Walmart, you're going to pay like a dollar or two or something. It's not maybe 2 or 3 dollars. It's not expensive. But I got so lucky to get 3 of these at 2.99 when they were regularly 11.99. So just so when you know what you're looking for, 
It's Gloss Heavy Gel. If you can find the matte ones, get those matte ones. But um, they didn't have those at mine. So I was so excited about that. So I got three of these. And this, all this will last me good for a year. I'll be set for the year until the next sale. So I'm so excited about being able to stock up on that. And I think I got one more medium. Yeah, I did. I don't use much white, regular white gesso liquid, but um, this was regularly 30 bucks. I got it for $7.49. That's a steal. I almost bought two of those, but I thought, let, leave. there was only two. So I said, leave one behind because I'm not, I don't use it all the time. This is just your regular gesso, the kind that's kind of liquidy, especially if you want to use it in your journals or prepare canvases when you're going to paint. That's what this is for. So this is an X. This will last me all year because, like I said, I don't use it as much as I use the heavy gesso. So, um, use my bags. So this is a really good deal. I mean, it's 32 ounces, you guys. That's ridiculously good. Um, yeah, that's ridiculously good. So, um, only $7.49, like I said, and it was regularly $30. That's crazy for 32 ounces. Very crazy. So we got that. Um, and then I went ahead and picked up, um, I don't do much alcohol inks, but I thought, you know what? I want to do some alcohol inks on the jelly flake. Cause I've seen some stuff down with that where you take, um, acrylic paint and then pour alcohol on that, on the jelly plate. But these are alcohol inks. So, and does it, do you have to have an accelerator like the Tim Holtz ones, how he has the blending solution? And really, you just get 90% alcohol if you need to have a blending solution. But it doesn't, I don't know, I guess not. Because there was no blending solution with it. So that's really different. I'll have to check it out. But this is Curate Color Alcohol Ink. And this is, uh, what color? A purple? <coughs> I was looking for a name on here. Let me just see. It's ultramarine, but it looks purple. So I'm... I'm assuming that's purple. This is a light turquoise. And these were regularly $3.99 for 99 cents. I'm wondering if I should have got more, but I don't know. I don't use them very often, but what if I love it on the jelly plate? Um, $3.99, I got, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep repeating that, 99 cents. This one is Carmine. <laughs> This one is pale pink. And I have some, I've always wanted to take alcohol inks and put it on that Yupo paper. I don't have Yupo, but I have, I got some stuff last, some paper last year that's like the Yupo. It's like you, it's like the generic Yupo. Um, so I wanted to do that. So I'll be able to do that now. Um, well, I also have some other alcohol inks from Tim Holtz, but anyway, uh, this is Azalea Purple. So that's, and that's what the packaging looks like. And this is right next to all the mediums. Okay. All right. Um, next. Okay. And I just went there. I did, I'm, I just did this today. I just went today and found all the mediums. So. Um, you guys are getting in right on the sale. I thought, let me come home and do the video right away so you guys can just run to the store and get the stuff because it won't be there very long, you know? So. Okay. They also had all these books on Clarence. So this is uh, Drawing with Christopher Hart, the master guide to drawing anime amazing girls. For one, I think these anime girls are just so cool. I would love to um, learn how to draw the anime girls. It was regularly in 1995. I got it for $4.98. Also, I've been talking about this for a couple years now. I want to make my own, I've done it before. I want to make my own um, like characters, like, you know, cute girls. And, um, and maybe for like, um, to put in my planner and stuff, have like cute girls and little nail polishes and lipsticks and all the girly stuff to go along with the girls that I create. So I don't know, that's something I have in my back in my mind. But 
I like to see how, how do you draw all the different body shapes. I draw a lot of faces and all that, but I don't draw a lot of body shapes of where they're facing and all that. So that would teach me that. Also, I can learn to draw anime girls. See, this is cool. See, it breaks it really down right here. They break it down further than that, but... They break down the, the eyes. They break down the eyes of a side view. I won't go through this whole book. I just kind of wanted to show you, so if you really want to get this um, super long hair, they show how they're doing that and how they're drawing the body. Uh, ringlets, that's what they're focusing here is on ringlets. That's cool. The basic female body. So this is just the basic female body. This would be so fun for me just to go through this book. You know what, that's going to be a goal of mine this year is to um, go through this book and start drawing this stuff. I really like it. Body shapes and all sizes. Mannerisms. That's cool. This is a little university on its own of drawing. And I like the way they break it down. See how they break it down? See, look at this. How simple that is. Those are all, when you're drawing, all drawing is, is, is lines. You're just drawing lines. So these are such simple lines here. And then you bring it like that. And then you have it here. You could turn her into a fairy. You know, put some wings on her. Take the feet and don't make the feet normal. Take the feet kind of pointed and you're going to turn her into a little fairy. Anyway, see how you can take something, the shape of something and then turn it into, um, turn it into your own little thing, your own little figure. So this just can give you a base. And from there you can change the hair up, change the eyes, give her wings, take this body away and put a, uh, a mermaid's tail on it. So this is cool freaking out, always late, stylish, like a little stylish pose, fun loving. Anyway, that's this book here and I am psyched. I'm going to keep this out of my desk because I'm going to try to work on one of those, some of that every week. How to draw woodland animals in simple steps. This was regularly $9.95. I got it for $2.48. This is what it looks like. I can bring that up a little bit. Let's just look at a couple pages. Um, they had some cute things I wanted to learn how to draw. So, and I already know how to draw. It's just, you know, if you've never drawn a bunny before, it's nice for someone to break down how you draw a bunny. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Is that bunny just adorable? Oh my gosh. I love that, that deer, birds, and I love the little squirrel. Look at the butterflies, absolutely beautiful. The deer, that was another thing I was interested in learning to draw is a deer. And look how simple the shape, the shapes start. See, I can do it. And I, and I already know how to draw. Um, and if you don't know how to draw, this is a great book because it really breaks it down. Look how cute this little mouse is. I think it's a mouse. And look how they break it down. So simple. I love the squirrel. There were so many animals in here that I wanted to learn to draw. I love the owl. Again, little baby deer. Like, ugh, adorable. Be so cute with the girls I like to draw. And then put a, put a little baby deer by them. I'm not drawing no rat. I like this. Another little chipmunk. I love the a cat. Like the wild cat. Birds, of course, love. I love the eagle. The fox is pretty cool. I just went through this whole book. And look at a jackrabbit. Oh, I'd love to learn how to, how to draw a jackrabbit. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, so that's another great book. This is 100 uh, Birds and Butterflies. Uh, regularly $19.99. I got it for $4.99. Draw Like an Artist. 
again, you have over a hundred birds and butterflies. Look at that. Again, another, is this an eagle? No, I think it's just, no, this might, is this an eagle or just a regular bird? I don't know. Toucan. I won't go through this whole book because this whole book has a lot. I love that. Look at the, um, it's not just a duck. What is that? Swan. But see, they really, look how they break it down. They start here. See? That's how you start. We can all start like that, right? And just follow it and just break it down. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else. I love this. Oh, I can't wait to learn how to draw one of these. I've never drawn a, um, what are these? <sighs> what is it? A cricket? But there's, there's another thing that's not just a cricket. Anyway, I love this beetle here. Grasshopper, that's what I want to say. Grasshopper. Look how beautiful. And look how simple you start. See? They really, these books really break things down good. And here's a cricket. These books really break things down well. Look at the beetle. That would be beautiful to draw. That would be really cool. Beetles have some, beetles have some really pretty coloring. These are all kind of beetles. A ladybug. Oh, butterflies. So I just want to give you a nice little overview of this book so that you can, um, all these birds. Phenomenal. Oh, look at this, a peacock. Now I have drawn peacocks before. And I've drawn them more, and I can still do it like that. I just get like a pic, um, you know, I just get like a photograph of a peacock and start drawing it. I've done that, and I and I have done that lots of times. But it's kind of cool to, to see it all broken down like that. So the peacock starts like that. So cool. Okay. Next one is a coloring book. Um, regularly $14.99, got it for $3.74. And I only ended up picking up two coloring books. You guys, they have a ton of adult coloring books on clearance. I have an obscene, I have an obscene collection of uh, adult coloring books. So I, I just kind of try to get really picky about the ones I get because I have too many. And I have so many that I'll never color them all. But anyway, uh, regularly $14.99, got it for $3.74. And it's where the wildflowers grow. I love just the, how gorgeous, look how gorgeous that is. Look how pretty this is. This is just the front page. That'd be gorgeous to uh, color. But look at these flowers. And the, you know what, the paper is nice and thick because sometimes I like to lay a watercolor base down first and then um, shade everything with my pencils. This is gorgeous and the paper is excellent. How beautiful. I'll just go through a few pages. Gorgeous. Just so pretty. Look at these birds and these flowers. This is beautiful. I love that with the black background because whatever you put here is going to pop. How gorgeous would this be if you just did all pink? Oh my goodness. I would love to do that. I'd love to do that soon. That would be gorgeous. See, this would be gorgeous to take a watercolor and give it a watercolor base first and then shade in with a pink, with a pink um, one of your pink um, pencils. Prismacolor pencils. That'd be gorgeous. And do it all pink, light pink, light baby pink against the black. That would be gorgeous. Again, that black background with this is pretty. These are those water lilies. I think water lilies. Yeah. These are gorgeous. This is, uh, I believe, cherry blossoms. That would be beautiful to do. That's gorgeous. I just love this whole book. Look at all the bees. A whole page of bees. What if you did the bees in all, like a lot of different colors, not just yellow bees? How pretty would that be? Oh, I'd love to do that. 
Look at this. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. Is that a, what is that? A beetle? I don't know, but I love it again here. Isn't that a beetle? Some type of beetle? It's absolutely beautiful, whatever it is. Okay, so you guys can see this would be gorgeous. I love the black background. Even if something doesn't have a black background in a regular, like a regular page in a coloring book, you can go through after you color it all and then take a, um, take black acrylic paint and paint and go real fine into the whole thing and then paint it black with black acrylic paint. And um, then if you really want to get crazy, you could take a black uh, Prismacolor pencil and go over that black paint. Black acrylic paint gives a good base for pencils and or watercolor does too. And then you can go over it like this and it'll be real black and smooth. It's pretty cool. Also, another good base if you want to put a base down and then go and then shade with pencil is to use uh, pastels like these. I'll show you my Jane Davenport's. These are the Jane Davenport pastels. They're beautiful, light, creamy. They're um, not creamy like wet, but creamy like, you know, they're not dry. They're not like those dry, cheapy pastels. And she makes it look like an eyeshadow palette. Isn't that cool? So anyway, you can put this down as a base and then um, do shading with pencil. And that's really fabulous too. I love doing that. I know a girl who takes her the Tim Holtz Distress Inks and she puts that down as a base first and then she shades with pencil. So I want to try that. I haven't done that yet, but I want to do that too. I forgot her name. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Again, this page would be so gorgeous to do. And then you got that black background. Oh, fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the two little birds. See, this page would be good to do that with, like after you color all this, then go through with black acrylic paint. It's very intricate and do it all in a black background. And if you want to get crazy, then take your black Prismacolor pencil and go back over the black acrylic paint. If you want to get crazy. Okay, so you guys, this book is fabulous. Look how thick it is. See, nice. And the paper is just beautiful. It's by Adriana Picker. She is a beautiful artist. Botanical Wonderland of Coloring for Adults. This is a fabulous coloring book. Okay, then this one was regularly $5.99. Got it for $1.49. The Creative Haven ones were the one I started with first. I love the Creative Haven ones. Um, but I have a lot of them. So this is the only one I got of this one. And this was his Butterflies. I thought the her, this was really pretty. Look at that. The whole thing is butterflies. And the uh, paper's perforated, so you can always rip these out really easily. Look how gorgeous. And I do like it that there's nothing on the back. And you can always use your alcohol markers too, of course. I have alcohol markers, but... You know what I did is I stopped collecting my alcohol markers because I was using them so much that you run out really quickly and it costs quite a bit to um, to keep up the alcohol markers. So using watercolor as a base, using um, those pastels as a base, all that is so much and then using pencil. It's just as pretty or even more pretty in my opinion and um, so much cheaper. This book is gorgeous. Look at that one. The butterfly is made up of flowers. Gorgeous. I love the lady and then she has all the big butterfly wings. <laughs> the girl and then she, her dress is made of butterflies. It's so beautiful. So this gives you an idea of what this book looks like. And this is a great deal. If I would have liked all the rest of them at a dollar fifty when they're regular five nine nine, I would have picked them all up. And if you're just wanting to really get your uh, adult coloring book collection going, go there and just go crazy. Get all of the Creative Havens. They're only a dollar forty nine, and then pick up 
whatever you like of these because these are only $3.74, regularly $15. I mean, that's a good deal. Okay. And so, now, I got all of that stuff just today. This stuff I got like maybe a week or two ago, but I was just waiting to get um, more stuff because my haul wasn't very big, so I was just kind of stockpiling. So this was in my video, if you watch one of my lives, but I never showed it yet in just a regular um, haul video. These are fabulous. Um, and you guys just keep, if you're... If your Hobby Lobby hasn't clearance certain sections, um, keep checking back. Everyone is at different times. I, I have seen people just get their, their store just clearing stuff down, and I got that stuff like a month ago. So this cell is from store to store, state to state, it's all over the place. So don't think you missed the cell at all. On any of the stuff I've, I've shown you, you can still probably go and get it. Check a few different Hobby Lobbies. Um, this was regularly like, I don't know, $7. And I got it for $1.99. I picked up three of them. Aren't they beautiful? I love the baby pink. I'm seeing a pattern of excellence. And look at the um, Robin's Egg Blue sewing machine. So it's just an eyeglass holder, but I just love it. It's fabulous. So I picked up three because I wear readers. I have sunglasses. Also, you can put anything in these. You could put like notions in these. You could put notions in these for your from your knitting. I love it. Okay. Um, oh, before I show you that, let me just show you these. I did get these chip. I got these like th two or three weeks ago. These uh, chip. These uh, chipboard. They're raw numbers. So what I liked about these. See, here's a number six. What I like about these is I'm going to use them on my jelly plate to use them as a mask on my jelly plate. So um, I picked up the numbers. That's going to be fabulous. I picked up the letters, and the letters are all uppercase. So I thought these would be really cool to use as, as a mask on my jelly plate. In fact, I'm going to use these today on my jelly plate. I'm going to be doing some stuff. And then um, on the jelly plate, we're all, like, we're all liking to use circles on the jelly plate. Um, the only thing is I would like holes to be in there, but they have smaller, like look at little smaller circles. I could just draw that and then cut the circle out with a Zacto knife. So, excited about that. Oh, and these were all these were all $4.99 and we got them for $1.24 each one of those. So that's why I got those. All for the jelly plate. This I got over in the remnant fabric and um I already took the thing off of it. But anyway, it's a map. Look how fabulous. Usually Tim Holtz has fabric like this. Tim Holtz used to have fabric. I don't know if he still does or not. But look how fabulous this is. This would make a great journal cover. I also um, alter like tote bags and make them into purses. This would be a gorgeous one. So I'm probably going to do both. I have enough here to do a tote bag and turn it into like a purse. And then also to make a um, journal cover. How fabulous is that? Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. And I think I picked this up for, I don't know what it was regularly, but I think I picked this up for maybe three bucks, something like that. It wasn't very much. So, and this is almost a, almost like, I don't know how much this is. Well, you know what? I have a, it's, 18, 19, 20. So 20 times, it's 40 inches long. 40 inches long, and what's the width? 40 inches long and 18 inches wide. So whatever that is. So it's a nice amount. On my glass mat here, I have um, a ruler, so. Okay. I got more fab, some more fabricy stuff from the fabric. Oh, this is all from the remnant section. There's always a remnant section, like usually against the wall in my store. And I always check that every time I go to Hobby Lobby, the remnant section. Um, I already took the prices off of this too. Look how much I'm getting. This is a heavy uh, faux leather. Look at that. Isn't this fabulous? I could take a tote and cover a tote because it has like this, um, it's not real like 
fake leathery on the back it's more fabric so this will stick nice to a canvas bag and I can make a um, like a leather looking animal print tote bag purse and I'm gonna do that and then I think I'll still have enough to make a uh, traveler's notebook so I'm gonna do that And then I got this one. Now this one, oh, and this one, I think I paid like five bucks for this, I believe. This I paid like $6. I might have paid $6.99 for this. For some reason, that price is ringing. Look how much I got of this, though. This is a lot. This is probably maybe almost two yards. Look how gorgeous it is. And it's really nice and thick. Isn't that some beautiful faux leather? Oh, my God. To make a... um traveler's notebook or a Midori out of this is going to be fabulous wouldn't you want a Midori made out of that that's fabulous and then I can and then what's that other side feeling like? see the other side like is like this fabricy, so it'll stick to a canvas tote bag so I can make a leather canvas tote bag purse and then make myself a Midori I'm excited I can even probably make myself a um, little clutch too like a makeup bag clutch to go inside I can do a lot with this. I'm loving it. I'm very, very excited. I couldn't believe I found those because that's expensive stuff. Whenever you, the faux leathers, faux furs, you're not going to pay for a yard, close to a yard or two yards, you're not going to pay six, seven dollars or five dollars. You're going to pay a lot more, like 20 or 30 bucks. Like it's out of hand. Okay. What else do I have over here? Oh, now this wasn't clearance. I have more clearance stuff, but this wasn't clearance. This was 50% uh, off. So um, I like to use, this is a fine, this is um, their brand. It's their fine artist brand paint. It's a thick, heavy body paint. Um, I got one in black, one in white, and it's the um, Master's Touch. So they're regularly $12.99, and every other week they're 50% off. So I paid $6.50. So I needed black and white. This lasts me forever. I always buy the black and white in these big, huge jars. And at six fifty dollars for fine artist grade paint, that's an excellent deal. So, And it's nice, thick, heavy body. So this stuff is great on your jelly plate, too. So, And if you like to paint with acrylics, this is fabulous. All right, let me put this down over here. All right, just a second, you guys. I got to do something with these bags. They're just like... Bags are everywhere. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I, I see down here? Oh! I have some more mediums, you guys. I didn't realize it. I did buy some more. I was thinking maybe I had some more, but I was like, well, maybe that's it. No, I have more mediums. They're right here. Okay, this is another one. Um, let me just see something. Okay, this is another one. It's called Gloss Gel. And I didn't know, I haven't used gloss gel before. This one says gloss gel, gloss gel. They're all the same. Gel medium. Okay, let me see what this says. This just says gloss gel. This says gloss gel, gloss gel, gel medium, gloss gel, gel medium. So that's what these look. I'll show you. These, these are the same. So let me show you what it looks like. Now, I read on the back of it, it says that you can use it as a, uh, like a glue adhesive. For a collage so that's why I got these regularly $18.99 I got them for $6.44 isn't that excellent so this is just acts just like a matte medium but again it's gloss so if you need if you want to be able to put it on top of your collaging whatever you're collaging down and then you want to be able to apply paint markers pens all the mixed media stuff over it just get some matte spray paint and just quickly do a shot of that over it and then you'll be able to paint color marker up on top of your um your collage um and it only takes like five to ten minutes to dry you guys so it's not like it'll take forever to dry once you just do that outside real quick it'll take five to ten minutes to dry no big deal even if you live somewhere cold you could uh spray it outside really quickly take it into your house into your garage let it dry in ten minutes it'll be dry so 
Um, if you really need to hurry up, just spray it with, the, with your dryer, with your blow dryer. Um, this is a gloss. Now, this one says gloss gel. It doesn't say gloss gel medium, but I looked it up and you can still, I read, and to look it up, just read the back and it'll tell you on the back what you can do as a collage adhesive. So you can also use it as a collage adhesive. And then there's other things too. I think you can, um, it extends, uh, the time and the, uh, it extends the texture, the veracity, the transparency it extends it uh, all of acrylic paints. So if you need your paint to be uh, wetter, it'll do that and extend the time that it's wet, which can be really nice if you want to be able to blend acrylic paints. So just read on the back what they're for. But now I've told you so you can look for gloss. You can look for this gloss gel. You can look for gloss gel, gel medium. It looks like that. Um, you can also look for uh, gloss heavy gel all of these you can use as a um, collage medium to glue down okay I really cleaned house on those I've been waiting for those I've been talking in my in all my videos I've been talking about those all year okay Got a couple more things um you know what let me put this down here because I do want to open this up. Um, I just found this the other day um, at, Do at Hobby Lobby. Uh, regularly $9.99. I still had the price thing on it. Regularly $9.99 for a yard, and I got it for $5.99. And paying six bucks on a remnant is kind of expensive, but look, this is regularly $9.99, so I thought it was a good deal. And I'll tell you why. You guys know I love anything girly pink, and I love, love the Disney princesses. I love them all. My favorite Disney princess is Jasmine. I've even drawn Jasmine. Um, I've drawn a lot of the Disney princesses. I love doing that. And what? how much yardage did I get here? Let's see. Is this a yard? Let me see what this is. Yeah, it's one yard. But look, I'm so excited. Isn't this gorgeous? For one, it's pink. And then it's the Disney princesses. You got Belle. Um, oh gosh, Snow White. Um, Tiana. And who is this right here? This is Belle, Tiana, um, Snow White. What's the one with the really long hair? Got her name's not hitting me. Anyway, and then um, this one here, I forgot her name. And they don't have Jasmine on here, but they have but they have these these uh, four, which is great. So I love it. I love the pink background with the white polka dots. I love all of the pastel colors. So this will be made into a cover one of those totes I was telling you about. I take uh, canvas totes and I cover them. And then I usually also add lace to them. I might add doilies to them. I do all kinds of stuff. So they come out really fancy and really pretty. And then I'll have a Disney one, you guys. <gasps> I'm so excited. And then of course I'll make a makeup bag and I'll probably um, make a um, traveler's notebook. And since this is only fabric, if you're gonna make a traveler's notebook, you can take a placemat, um, the foamy kind of placemat that's very malleable and you can cover the um, placemat with this fabric, and then it can be, you can make it like a traveler's notebook really easily. I've done it before, and it works out really nice. So I'm so excited about this. Ah! Okay, so got that. Couldn't believe it. That's why I was willing to kind of pay a little more from that remnant because it's Disney. It's the princesses. That's what I wanted to be when I was little. I wanted to be a Disneyland dancer. Because when we would go to, we go to Disneyland every summer for vacation. And uh, all when I was little, we used to go every year. And we all looked forward to it, me and my brothers. And, um, and uh, I used to see those Disneyland dancers and I always wanted to be a dancer. And I was a dancer when I was little. And all through high school and through college. And um, I was like, oh, that's what I'm going to be when I grow up. I'm going to be a Disneyland dancer. I wish I would have went and followed that dream. That would have been so fun. I would have loved that. Anyway, 
I'm reminiscing. Okay, you guys, I bought this last year. Let me explain this first. I bought this last year. This is an Agenda 52. Yeah, an Agenda 52 um, planner. Yes, it's right there. But I never bought the insides. So I just thought, well, when I, I don't, I, don't, I just loved how it looked. I didn't care about the insides. I was like, I love this and I will, you know, punch things out to fit in here. Well, I never did. I put this over in the corner with, with a bunch of other my planners and I did nothing with it. But, and then I love it. Look, it has like these little pockets inside. Look at that. I love the inside. I love this baby blue. I love the flowers. Look how gorgeous this is. This is everything. I think I have, do I have two of these? I don't know. I don't even know. But anyway, yeah, I think I just bought one last year. So it's brand new. I never even used it or anything. Look, this thing is still in there. So this year I was looking and I saw this, um, regularly $21.90. And I think I bought this maybe for $5 last year. This is regularly $21.99. This is a 12 month. Okay. It was regularly $21.99. I got it for $5.49. It's a Jenna 52. Look at it. It's gold. Um, it's uh, this like tealy uh, typewriter. It's based in pink, baby pink. Yeah, I had to have it. So this is a 12 month planner insert, non-dated. So I don't even have to worry about redating. And so this fits right into here. Look at that, everything lines up, see? So I bought this last year at the clearance, the Hobby Lobby 75 Prince off clearance, and this year I got this. So I was so excited. And at this price at $5.49, I thought, let me buy two of them. So I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to use this planner for. This planner might be, um, I like to track my, um, I like to track my workouts. And I'm kind of like wanting to track my food too. Just because what I like to do is I like to eat five small meals a day. And when I track things, it just holds me accountable to make sure I get the five small meals in a day. And it makes me accountable to know exactly where I'm at in my week for my workouts. I've said this before. I used to always know where I'm at in my workout because um, my schedule was, was dictated by my gym. Well, since coronavirus, I don't go to the gym anymore because uh, it's actually really unhealthy, the gym is, especially when there's like, a deadly fire is going around. So, um, I haven't gone back to the gym. I work out at home. So, um, I do Zumba and if you ever want to check it out, I do Zumba and mix fit and I have it open. I have a, a, a playlist. It says Zumba and mix fit. I have one that's just says Zumba. Don't go to that one. I need to erase that one. I have one that says Zumba and mix fit. And I have like probably 60 different 50 or 60 different, uh, Zumba and mix fit. It's like dance aerobics, but it's like real fun and funky stuff. Like you're doing Janet Jackson type of moves but they break it down. Um, so I usually like to work out Monday through Friday doing that and then get on my Pilates machine. But sometimes I have to skip Tuesday and then I need to work out on Saturday instead of Tuesday and what I need to keep track. So this might be my, my um, way I keep track of my workouts and also just running down what I've eaten that day to make sure I get these five small meals in. It's when I look the best, my weight's the best, everything when I eat the five small meals a day a protein and a carb. And if it's carb, make it fruits, vegetables, or brown carb. If it's sugar, make it agave syrup, coconut sugar, everything natural. That's what, that's the food plan I follow. Anyway, I just thought, let's just look at this really quick. It says faith, hope, and love. This planner belongs to, and look at the typewriter and it's pink. <gasps> uh, do just love Mary walk humbly. Okay, now I didn't realize this, but it is more of a like, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm really more spiritual type of person. So, so this still doesn't bother me. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's pretty. What they're saying here is gorgeous. So, um, I'm excited. I'll just say it like that. This is really, really pretty. Just let me go through it really quickly. I just, just, I'm not going through the whole thing. Just kind of want to see how it looks. So pretty. And there's enough room in here for me to track everything when I can write it in. Oh my God, I love this. 
I love some macarons and then I love the tealish background um, with the um, gold polka dots. That's gorgeous. It has says have a sweet Sunday. And then look at that pink animal print inside. And I do like this, how it tracks, you can track holidays, birthdays, and special occasions. What was that first part? Just a second, I just wanna see something real quick. They must have skipped the calendar of January. Where's the calendar at? Because January didn't start with the calendar. Oh, there we, we skipped it, okay. So there's the calendar. I'm like, I, we went right to the weekly, but I was like, where's the calendar? So there's the calendar for January. Gorgeous. Look at all the pink. Oh, I love, look at the flowers. I love how this looks inside. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm pretty sure it's going to look the same. Yeah, everything's going to look the same. Let me just go to the months as far as the dashboard. So this is the dashboard for March. Stand firm in your faith. But look at the, um, the, uh, where are these? Flamingos. This is gorgeous. Look at the pink background and then the cactus. This is so, so pretty. And for this price, that's ridiculous. I would have spent on the, I don't even know what the, um, the outer, this cost. This is probably 20 bucks on its own. And then the inserts are 20. This would cost me 40 bucks, you guys. And instead I probably bought this for five and I bought the other thing for, I just only spent $10. This is beautiful. This is like Golden Girls. And as far as the weekly and the monthly, it's, they're all the same. Oh, look how beautiful. I love the deer horns with the flowers. That's gorgeous. And then this is like the pink animal print. That's beautiful. You know what? It's funny. I'm not a huge fan of cactus. And let me tell you why. I was raised in Arizona and now I live in Las Vegas. I've seen cactus my whole life. So to me, I'm like, uh, about the cactus. But it's still pretty. Look at this. You are my rock, it says. Love the pink. Love the purple. Look at that. What kind of stone is that? That's called a, um, damn it, I can't think of that stone. It's gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. I am excited about using this. Oh, there's beautiful stuff on the back too. I didn't even show you all that, but we're not going back through it. Look, that's on the back of that. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that paper on the back of that. So some things are a little bit different. Oh, I love her. That's a neat saying though. All I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. I always thought that was a really cute saying. Look how beautiful she is little chocolate girl with her coffee and the diamonds on the back love it love it let's just see what okay let's see. okay this is pretty and then what's on the back okay it says trust patience and love and blessed that's really pretty and then this is that so that's this whole thing and you're gonna I take this whole thing and put this into here I am so psyched and then I still have another one it's not fabulous so since it's not it's not dated which what's, what's awesome about it is I can start I, you can always I always I buy things that are outdated and I just redate them because I decorate my planner to death but um but it is nice that I can go ahead and start this now and then go back and restart it in the month that I missed. So that's really cool. Okay, just a second. I just messed that up. There we go. So that's really cool. And it's so beautiful. It's all the colors I love. The teals, the pinks, the golds, robin's egg blues, creams. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I got to put this together. And then look how beautiful that is. And you go like that. I'm so glad I bought this last year. I didn't even buy the insides. <laughs> I just love this. I'm crazy. Okay. Is that everything? Yes, that is everything. Okay, you guys. So, like I said, um, I just went there today. What is today? Uh, 
Friday was the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. This is Monday, the 20, this is Monday, March 21st. You guys go over there if you want those mediums because they're going to go quick. Go over there, get those mediums. Um, everything else I've bought in, you can still be getting things. Oh, in my, in my, uh, hop, one of my Hobby Lobbies, um, they've really sold out on the, um, on the planners, but there's planners still left and they've reduced them more and now they're on the clearance wall. So still check out those, um, the coloring books and the drawing books. I just got those today. So go check those out if you're interested in getting any adult coloring books or any of the drawing books. So, um, the alcohol inks I just got today. So a lot of this stuff is really, really recent. So this I got like last week, I think. So, all right, you guys, that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I have a Facebook group called Our Magical Little Place. It doesn't matter if you're a crafter, if you do art, if you do mixed media, whatever you do, come over and share your art with us and um, or your crafting. And also, I have a uh, I have an Angie's Art Party on Sundays. We go live and uh, come and craft your art with us. And I do giveaways, and it's a lot of fun. It starts at 2 o'clock Pacific time every Sunday. Okay, I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye. Okay, you guys. Remember I looked around and I said, oh, do I have anything else? I still had more stuff. Okay, I just want to show you guys this. These weren't on clearance, but they're on 50% uh, off. Any of the... Uh, loose paper, any of the paper, that's the paper studio. So, um, I just wanted to show you, I'm using all these loose papers for my, um, to decorate my planner. I cut out all the squares, whether it's the monthly or whether it's the weekly, and I cover them with a uh, scrapbook paper and those match my stickers. It comes out really pretty. So these are why I got these papers. So look how gorgeous this is. And then there were like four other ones, you guys. They're like watercolor looking ones. And I took pictures of them so I can come home and make them with my own watercolors. So I'm going to make my own paper with my own watercolors, do my own watercolor paper. But these I thought were gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? So I picked up, I think, two. Yeah, I got two of them because that should be enough to fill all the squares, whether I'm doing the monthly or I'm doing my weekly layout in my planner. And then I got this one. Look how I got two of them. Look how gorgeous this is. Isn't this pretty? And these are the kind of colors I like to decorate with my planner. And then I'll match them up with stickers. Gorgeous. And I'll match them up with washi tape. Okay. And then I wanted to do an animal print. And the thing about it is, is when you're, because you're cutting these down pretty small squares, right? Like one, like two by two or one by three, not one, usually two by two or two by three or two by four um, squares. Your, the, your print needs to be small or it needs to be something like I just showed you. So this animal print was really small and I didn't have any of this in my collection of scrapbook paper. So this, I want to do an animal print layout in my planner. So won't that be beautiful? To match that, I bought, I'll show you, I bought some glitter paper. Okay, just a second. To match that, I bought this glitter paper here to match it. So some of the squares will be this beautiful glitter. How gorgeous is that going to be? I am so excited to decorate my planner. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, so that's one. Then, um, oh, this, to me, I love this. I bought two of these. I bought two of those animal print ones. Bought two of these. Oh, and um, so and all these are half off. So the one I just showed you, these ones, I'll just tell you how much they are. They, um, 59 cents, half off, they're 30 cents a piece. That was for both of those paper ones. The animal print one, this one here. Those papers are smaller. These are the big 12 by 12s. The other ones are smaller. They're like 8 by 10s or something. Um, this is 69 cents, 70 cents. So um, half of 69 cents. So, you know, 35, 35 cents, something like that. But these are a little bit more expensive. These are a dollar. They're $1.99. So these I paid a dollar for. I was hoping to find, and hopefully when they clearance out, the paper they haven't done the paper yet that's another thing i'm waiting for that they have uh like a whole paper pad full of glitter papers 
Anyway, Michaels usually does that, has a whole pad of glitter papers. I need to pay attention to that so I don't pay a dollar a sheet. Even on half price, that's expensive, in my opinion. Anyway, I bought two of these. I love the white with the gold dots. That's going to make a beautiful layout in my planner. I got two of them. Uh, $1.99. So these were also $1.99, so I paid a dollar a piece. But you guys, um, when you buy, like, uh, stickers, I buy my stickers from Dollar Tree. And, um, but when you buy the uh, Happy Planner stickers and the rest of them, you're spending 20, if you don't buy them on sale, you're spending 20 bucks for a thing of stickers. So to spend a dollar a sheet to cover all my squares and then use my Dollar Tree stickers, I'm making beautiful spreads for nothing. Okay. Um, oh, and to go with that, on some of the squares, I picked, I got this gold. Plus I can use this gold on anything else too. I picked up one of these. Isn't that going to be beautiful? And I picked this up for a dollar. I really thought, God, you're kind of spending a lot. But then I thought, if I was to buy a Happy Planner sticker book, those are 20 bucks. There you go. And then I match all this up with, like, my Dollar Tree stickers, which are gorgeous. The gorgeous Dollar Tree stickers, girls. You guys know what I'm talking about if you shop at Dollar Tree. I'm not talking about, like, you know, little Dumbo stickers. I'm talking about the beautiful stickers, like the ones with the flowers and the butterflies and just all the gorgeous stuff. Okay. Um, also, I got striped. got two of these. I think these were, yeah, a dollar each. Isn't that going to be gorgeous in my planner? And again, I'll have enough left over from the other one. I can match it up with this. So some of the boxes will be gold glitter. Exciting! And then I got these. And I got these to match with these. So look how pretty this is going to be. The pink. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous! Or I can even match it with this too. So that's going to be pretty. And then this and this, um, this can go with this. Look how pretty that's going to be. That's going to be a beautiful layout. And then I have some uh, stickers that are all like purpley type of flowers from Dollar Tree. That's going to be gorgeous in my planner. And then this can go with this. Look how pretty. I could do mix both of them up. Look how pretty that would be in my planner. Like this. This one, this one, and this one. And then there'll be leftovers left over, and I can mix it up with other stuff that I have. And then I have tons of flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers. And also um, Disney characters or um, all type of little characters that are done in pink that I can match up all this stuff with. So, I'm excited for my planner layouts for the next probably half a year. Plus I have a ton of other stuff for my planner, but I wanted to get some new stuff for my planner. Okay, so now I'm done. This bag was underneath a bunch of stuff. That's why I didn't see it. So I already said everything I was gonna say before, but um, yeah, so I won't repeat my ending again. You guys already heard it. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.